Good morning, my little YouTube friends. I hope I can remember. I'm trying this morning to, I want to work in my vacuum bag journal. I don't have my hearing aids in, so I hope I don't yell at you. I have set out little piles today to try to organize myself before I actually get started. And I hope I remember what pile goes out. Oh, I need to do something with this one. My book is going to be so fanned out that I am now not putting any more pockets in it or tags. And I'm trying to keep everything that's left as smooth as possible. So, here we go. Let's just start with the first page that's empty. Okay, here we go. How have you people been? I am okay. I have two of these. Is it legal to put the same scratchy paper on two pages? I'm going to. I had planned a trip today. I'm probably going to do some of this off screen. Can I zoom out? There we go. There we go. I'm probably, there we go. I had planned on going to a friend's house. She lives about 40 miles, 45 minutes away. Oh, my lid is stuck. Let me see if I can melt it with my heat gun. not seen her in so long and I've just been missing her so I was going to take off today and drive up there to her house she has a big lake on her property and I was just gonna I said let's just float in your lake and visit today and then I'll drive home you know it's 45 minutes <sighs> well I got everything ready. I I get extremely exhausted easy with this lime and a lot of times I have to stop, you know, just driving to town and back. Usually when I get up and do my chores, sometimes I just come in and I'm done for a while. But, you know, I thought I could pull this off. I like that rough part sticking off the edge. So I got all my chores done. I got in the truck and I headed out. Now before I, while I was doing my chores, I threw in a pan of eco printing to do. So it could be, you know, doing its one hour thing while I was doing chores. And I head down the road and I get about 15 minutes down the road And I think, did I shut the stove off? What the heck? I could not remember if I shut the stove off. So guess what? I had to turn around and come back home and check. By this time, I'm exhausted and I can't head back out. So I called her and text her and told her I was, I couldn't do it today. Yes, I did shut the stove off. So, that, that was okay, but then I was exhausted. And so I just hung out in the house and rested for a little bit, and then I thought, so then, well, before I leave to head to Judy's house, I hear Princess, you know, she barks at the squirrel. He looks like an angry bird, doesn't he? But I'm going to use him. He just seems awful angry. I'm going to think maybe he's looking over into this flower pot thinking he can find a worm in there, but it turned out to be artificial. That's what I'm going to say. Um, 
before I headed out and everything, Princess was out there barking her head off under the, I have a camper in my rock garden that kids spend the night in and it's got a fire pit outside of it and I used to do some art journaling in it and just one I didn't want to throw away and we just play with it. Well, Princess was under it barking and I thought, well, she's hollering at a mouse or something because she's a mouser and a squirrel chaser and, you know, we typical wiener dog thing. So, I go tell her to come in the house. Well, when I get out there, I see what looks like a possum body that's trying to climb up in the, it's trying to climb up in the camper. I thought, oh great, she's got a little possum. So, it looked kind of like it was stuck trying to get up in the camper, up under underneath the, you know, camper part. So I call her in the house and give her a bone to get her occupied on something else. And I go back out there to check out the little possum. And it's not a possum, it's a baby raccoon. And he was trying to sleep, and Princess was waking him up. He had built him a little nest in the leaves under there, and he was just trying to take a little nap till nighttime when he could come out and steal my squirrel food again. Well, I just looked at him and went, Oh, well, look at you. You're a little raccoon. And he went, <laughs> like he wanted to eat my face off. So... I thought, okay, he could very well eat Princess's face off if she continues barking at him. So I barricaded her and him in the house. He doesn't really care. Cooper doesn't really care, but she's obsessed with, you know, stuff like that. So I barricaded, shut the doggy door so she could not get out and... Uh, We came in here to get stuff organized. I gave her a bone to keep her mind off of being barricaded. And then we came out here in the art room to kind of get our mind off of stuff. And I went out while ago. She went out. She wanted to go out the front yard. Well, I forgot. She can sneak in the backyard from the front yard. She knows how to get through the fence back there. She wasn't barking, though. So, I went back. She was back there in the rock garden, kind of looking around. But he was not under the camper. So, maybe he has gone on his way. Anyway, that's been my morning. Always something that's exciting at the Eamon Ranch. In my little light. There we go. Well, looky there. I really need to zoom this in a little more. Y'all can't really even see what I'm doing, can ya? We'll go this close. Is that in focus? This does not look in focus to me. It looks blurry. Why is it blurry? I'll go ahead and do it seems blurry. Huh. Don't quite know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and film this and see if it's really blurry or if it just appears blurry. If it is blurry, I'll ixnay this one. I've already too, told too much of my story to stop now and start over. So we're just going to continue on. If not, then I've done a few pages and talked to myself for a while. No big deal. I've done that a hundred times before. Well, let's see here. Let's just go on to the next page. I'm going to put this little ducky in here. And I think duckies deserve bright colors, so... We're going to do a little bit of smooshing with some bright colors. 
you know, I got that, so I might as well go ahead and add to that page. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more pot of the Eco Print. I know I told you guys I was not gonna try it again. It was a waste of time. And guess what? I've done two more since then. So something about it is drawing me in and I have no idea why because it's frustrating to spend that kind of money on electricity with your stove to just let it cook for an hour when I could just sit it out in the sun after I dip it in some tea bath but there's something about it that is drawing me in and I can't stop trying it this morning I did more rows and I went out and got a maple leaf that was turning some maple leaves that were turning brown and I got some more honeysuckle because it seemed to do okay. And while I was out there, I got a mimosa tree. You know how mimosa tree, their prawns kind of look, their leaves kind of look like a, a fern, you know? And the mimosa turned out really good. The maple did not yet. They're just not ready. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I want to maybe ink around it. I need to grunge it up. I can't stand these bright colors. Isn't that crazy? They they just bother me. I don't know why. If it doesn't look dirty and old, I'm just not happy with it. Our brains, our brains are like that, aren't they? They like what they like. I'm gonna put this, this looks kind of ducky. So I wanna put this stamp on there. I'm getting a little full here on my little bitty teeny space. Let's see if we can't get some nice juicy ink on here. thinking maybe I need to re-ink this. It seems like it's just drink it. You know what? Somebody else, I saw them. Where's my spray bottle? I saw somebody spray water on these ink pads. Hold on, it's clear across the room. Hold on, here I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm sorry. Let's see what happens when we spray water on it. I've seen people do that. Now, this is the other thing. <sighs> Can I get it flat enough to get an impression? There we go. Looky there. Okay. Now, Mr. Ducky can go on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to, when I'm done with you guys, with your my video, I'm going to turn uh, Linda's... Oh, Linda, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Linda's Mixed Up Mess. Is that the name of your channel? I'm going to turn her on today. I watched her the other night. I could not sleep. And I got up and I watched Linda. She was doing a... 
she was putting a grungy book together, just throwing a grungy book together, and it was adorable. And I thought she, it was making me want to come out here and play. And it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was too chicken to come out here by myself. You know, at 3 o'clock, I don't know why I can come out here any other time, but at 3 o'clock, it's scary. So, I was going to turn her video on and watch it again the next day and had company so I wasn't able to and then today you know I wasn't supposed to be here so I have just decided to sit down and make a video but when I'm done I'm going to turn on Linda's video and art with her it just looked like it was fun that I could just art along with her so I'm looking forward to doing that today Needs something. Oh, man, I have a sunshine over there stamp. Wouldn't that be cute? But was that too much stamping, or should I just put a word and call it done? I'm sure, remember, I'm trying not to get too much thickness on here. I wonder what kind of word I could put up there. Let's see what we got here in the word box. I'm sorry, I do not have this organized so that I don't reach over you. And look, I have a word box of stuff I've torn out of magazines. I don't know if black would look good Yeah, it wouldn't be bad, would it? I could use black a little phrase out of here. You're capable of be of becoming more than you realize. No, I don't think he's really thinking about that right now, but he is trying to make it happen because a duck try it has a hard time getting anywhere when they're that size. They want to be the big duck. And they have a hard time getting in now the pool. So let's make it happen. That brings something to my mind. You know, I have saved more ducks and geese trying to cross a road and turtles than you can shake a stick at. And the problem I'm finding is back in the day when they made roads, their curb and guttering was at an angle and the turtles and the geese and the ducks could almost get up that little angle well nowadays the curb and guttering system is straight up you go to the road and then it's straight up to the you know grass in the curb and that makes me mad because for what reason did they need to make it straight up why how was it broke that being angled was wrong. Why did they need to say, well, we need to make it straight up? Because wildlife and stuff can't get up that curb. Guess what they do? They follow the curb to find an area where they can get up. And guess what's every so many feet? The sewer. I have seen turtles slide down the sewer because they couldn't get up the curb anywhere before I could get turned around to help them. I'm sure baby geese have fell down the sewer. Then where? Then they're, they're out of luck. They can't go anywhere. They either lay down there and die or they search the rest of their lives trying to find an opening in the sewer, which is miles and miles away. Anyway, just a little pet peeve I have about this curb and guttering systems this little duck now look at me you guys instead of seeing a cute little yellow duck this is what comes to my mind oh my gosh i've seen those little ducks not being able to get the curb and guttering why can't i see the positive part of this little yellow duck instead of it immediately making me you know turn to sorrow what is my issue and it's with everything i see the negative part Instead of seeing the beautiful, happy duck, I see this poor thing falling in the sewer and dying. 
Why can't I change my mentality? Anyway, I'm praying. So if you're a praying person, will you pray for my negativity? Because it just bothers the heck out of me. And it is the natural, my natural process is to just think negative. So ridiculous. So ridiculous. Bam. Okay, we have we got two pages done? Look. Bam. Bam. We have just done two pages. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to this one. Is this page it's a little small? This is my picture. It was a black and white, and I kind of colored it in with some markers. So I'm looking for a page big enough. That's a pretty big page, so I probably ought to take it. Nope, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this page. It's a little bigger. So I have a few little things here that I can add on. I wanted to add this on and this on. I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay. What did I get for supper tonight? Oh, I was, I'm going to make, we had company this last weekend and they have uh, two teenagers and a 12-year-old, and I just thought they were spending the night, and I thought, oh my gosh, these kids are going to love, they will love sleeping in the camper. I mean, what kid wouldn't, right? So I bought some treats and put them out there in the camper, some Fritos and Doritos and Cheetos and all the O's, and I put them out in the camper, and some chocolate I set up no 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 I won't I, don't, I want that side to be up I set up the lawn chairs on the back deck because you know my husband cut off the camp back of the camper to put the Jeep on so it when it's empty you know it's like a back deck you can sit your lawn chairs up back there and and sit up there in the evening when you're camping so I thought these kids would love that. Not a one of them would stay out there. They all laid uncomfortably on the couch and in recliners. Yeah, my grandkids would have loved it. Anyway, they didn't eat any of the treats that I got, so. I am going to bring the free, I brought the Fritos in, I brought all of them in, all the goodies in, and tonight we are having Frito chili pie, since, you know, nobody ate it, so we got to get rid of it. So tonight it's Frito chili pie. I had a little piece of book. I had a little piece of music sheet that I was going to glue on there. Did you guys see it? A little square of music sheet. Anyway, I was wondering had I laid anything out for supper. And yes, I actually have. We're having Frito Chili Pie. All I have to do is fry up the hamburger. Well, I can't find it. So it's going to have to be, that just torques me off. Where on earth would that have gone? It is not over here. Maybe I glued it under these pages, not realizing it. Anyway, dictionary page it is. 
I really wanted music sheet. Anticipation. Anticipation is making me wait. I don't know if that's the correct words or not, but that's my version. Oh my gosh, they were on the swing. My company kids. You know, my husband has, I asked him to build my grandkids a swing like we had when we were in school. You know, the swings were tall. I said, I want a swing set like we had when we were kids for the grandkids. Well, MacGyver that he is builds this 24 foot swing that required a 20 foot ladder on top of the forklift to even put the darn thing together. The pipes were so heavy that he figured they were around 300, pe uh, 300 pounds a piece because we could not lift them. We had to use the forklift to lift the piping to even build the swing. So then we drilled holes on either side of the swing and ran a uh, cable down. We drilled holes, put cement in it with these great big anchor hooks, and then we ran these super dog cables through the pipe of the swing to anchor it down because the swing being so tall, it had a tendency to sway from side to side and we did not want that thing to collapse over. Because you know how kids are. They like to swing from side to side. They like to twirl. They like to go every which direction. So I just wanted to make sure it was completely safe. You know what? I'm just have a feeling this is going to be a stinking blurry video. I cannot figure that out at all. What is this? Is that zoom? That's, the, oh, looky there. Okay, well, three pages later, I've gotten it to clear up. One of these buttons up here was pushed to 0.5 instead of 1x. Dang it. I hope you guys stuck with me through all the blurry part. I'll show the other pages to you real quick, just so you know what they were since we were blurry. Okay, here's the first page we did with a birdie. And then I flipped it right over and did the ducky page. And then we went right on over and did the Peter Rabbit page or something. I don't know. Anyway, the kids, these, this family's kids were out there on the swing playing. And my husband, you know, they were over working on the camper um, engine, which was in sight of the swing. And all of a sudden, the kids come running in saying, we almost got killed. We almost got killed. We're like, what? Uh, we were swinging and all of a sudden Terry and those worker men were yelling at us, telling us to get off of the swing, get off of the swing. And what they didn't realize were, because they were giggling and playing and having fun on the swing, but the worker guys out of the camper, they heard the cable snap and looked over to see what the noise was and saw the swing doing this. And so they were yelling, get off the swing because they were afraid if it collapsed, you know, a three, 300 pound support leg of that thing or the one going across the top could easily kill somebody. So the swing is out of commission for the moment we have decided that we are going to knock it down to 12 feet <laughs> and uh, revamp the uh, 
revamp the cable idea. I think just knocking it down to 12 feet will, will be a big help. Now, I love this jelly plate. So if I put this on there, is it going to show through enough that I can still enjoy that jet, ju ju but see, I still have one on this side, so. So just deal with it, right? Put it on anyway and deal with it. That's what I'm gonna do. So praise God, praise God that those guys were out there working on the bus. Praise God that they heard that cable snap. I mean, just it's just to praise God all the way around on this ordeal. Because I do not want any accidents to happen at the Eamon Ranch with wonderful, innocent children. Yep, it's just a big praise God all the way around. Well, it's not showing through a lot, but I'll take it because we still have this one over here. I'm going to do a video if I can get the energy to pull this my tripod out from behind my table. I'm gonna do a video on, on my tripod. I don't know if I've done a video and showed you guys my tripod. Do you know, has anybody here watched all my videos from the very beginning? It would have been way back in the very beginning. Something tells me maybe I did. I'll have to look and see before I make another one because I got my tripod idea from um, Tiff at Southern Gals Designs. She made her own PVC, you know, thingy McJigger to hold her phone on. And so I made one like it too. And it is the best thing because look, well, it's touching the table. Okay, so if it were not touching the table, Look, I can beat my table and you don't see the wiggling of the tripod. I notice a lot of you gals, you have your tripod sitting on your table. So when you wiggle or something, your tripod's doing this. I want to show you this idea because this has been revolutionary for me. You know, the tripod is sitting on the floor underneath my table in a U shape. And then it has a pipe going up in the back behind the table and then out hangs over my table. Just simple PVC pipe with some, uh, you know, plastic unions, elbows. It was just absolutely simple to throw together. So I wanted to show you guys that idea so that in case you ever want to build one, so that your video doesn't wiggle. And if you don't mind if your video wiggles, that's fine. But maybe you're seeing your video wiggle and you're going, dang it, my tripod makes my video wiggle. Well, if it is, I can help if that bothers you. If it doesn't bother you, keep on doing it, girl. Keep on, and guy, keep on keeping on. Okay, look at this. We are knocking out these pages with just simple flat stuff. And you know, I can go through another time. Wait, I like these words. And maybe these words would be good on just a flower page. It says, I really kind of want to ink it though, and I'm not sure I can. It's very fragile paper. And I'm not sure I can get some ink on there. It says, his mysteries aren't clear to me. While I'm down here, I may not understand, but I won't let go of his unseen hand. Isn't that cool? It's actually a 
a line from a song and it just spoke to me so I thought I as things are speaking to me I type them up or whatever because you know part of the reason I'm doing these journals is so when I'm gone maybe my kids will learn something about me and they'll know that you know this spoke to me So I'm just trying very ever so slightly to get any ink on there that I can because I can't stand it plain. And you guys probably cannot see this ink, but it is going on. Oh, dang it. My glue is vomiting. I don't know, you guys. I have more trouble with glue. I'm not kidding you. I would go buy one of those icing things that you all use with the little bitty tip on it, but all my luck, I would still have this stupid problem with it. My hot glue gun vomits, my little bitty glues like the Fabri-Tac vomit, so I emptied all of them into this big bottle today thinking maybe my big bottle won't vomit and now my big bottle's vomiting. And I know some of you use that glue that you stick the needle in the top, that, what is it called? Is it called the diamond something or another? I don't know, maybe I should start investing in that one. Because then when I'm done, I can just stick the needle in, in the top. Still trying to perfect everything on an El Cheapo bu budget, you know? This stuff dries super fast. Come on, don't you tear on me. There we go. His mysteries aren't clear to me. While, I, while I'm down here, I may not understand, but I won't let go of his unseen hand. Such a mystery, isn't it? Everything's a mystery. Isn't it gonna be amazing that when we get to heaven, it's all going to be clear to us, but we're not even going to care anymore because there's so much more we're going to be involved in starting the second we get up there that we're not even going to understand that we didn't, we're not even going to care that we didn't understand the mysteries while we were down here. So, great. All right. There's another one done. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. That's 38 minutes. I had an, another little, but I think they, these girls are going to be too big to put anywhere in this book anyway. So I also had a little card here I wanted to put together with another saying that spoke to me. But I don't want to put a card in here because I don't want it to get too bulky. I am an available living vessel empowered by God's Holy Spirit to be a sounding board for the gospel of Jesus Christ and a vessel through him, through whom Jesus Christ has served and a vessel through whom Jesus Christ can serve other people. That's what I am. I'm just the vessel. God can do with me what he wants. So anyway, I was going to do that one, but we'll do it again later. You know what I think I'm going to do right now? I think I'm going to go in the house. Uh, my friend that spent the weekend with me, she brought me some homemade jalapeno jelly. I'm going to go in. I went to the store this morning. 
after I decided to turn around on my way to my friend's house. I stopped at the store on my way home, got some cream cheese, and I am going to put cream cheese on Triscuit crackers with some of that jalapeno jelly. That's going to be my little snack for the moment. And then I'll come back out and play with Linda for a while on her Linda's Mixed Up Mess video. Bye-bye from Birdie.